did you know that using low quality photography can essentially kill your website? That's why today I'm gonna to be showing you where you can go to get premium high quality photography that's gonna make your website look awesome. And even better than that, it's not gonna cost you a penny because it's completely free. What's up guys, I'm Tristan Parker and I'm committed to helping you guys up your website design game and improve your business. Today I'm going to be showing you a collection of free stock image libraries that are full of really stunning photography that are going to completely enhance your website and keep your visitors engaged. Images are really powerful, especially when the image helps describe the subject matter. You know, images are great for striking emotion and helping you put across the message that you are trying to deliver. Impressive images can really capture the attention of your visitors, draw them in and let them explore deeper down into your website. They're also really good for producing stunning visual compositions and breaking up all of the content on your website. And having a great visual composition will allow you to guide the user and absorb the content that you want them to. But achieving this can be near impossible when you have amateur mediocre photography. And also not all business owners are in a position to pay for expensive stock libraries like Adobe Stock. That's why today I'm gonna to be running you through a set of libraries that are available completely free. So let's get into it. First up we have Unsplash. Now you might have heard of Unsplash already. It's very popular and it's been around for a little while. But nonetheless, it's still an amazing library of free stock photography. If we scroll down, you'll see all of the most recent entries into the library. And as you can see, all of the photography is absolutely stunning. It's, it's very nice and what's better is it's completely free. So you can take a little browse through this and just absorb the amazing images that are available or you can use their uh, filtering system so we've got you know there's a COVID-19 which is current at the moment unfortunately we've got nature wallpapers textures people etc etc so let's just click technology let's assume you're a technology business and you were looking for more technical type of images and then you've got a nice one of an iPhone here now alternatively if you were looking for more images of say an iPhone you could just search iPhone and then you've got a load of really, really nice photography that you can use on your own website. So moving on, next on the list, we have Burst by Shopify. And you can get to this by going to burst.shopify.com. Now again, it's, it's a little similar to Unsplash. It has some very, very nice photography on it. I mean, come on, look at this dog. He looks cool. So if we scroll down, you are greeted with a bunch of categories. So in terms of layout, I quite like this uh, stock photography library so let's i don't know let's click dogs and you're you're given a load of really cool dog for photographs and you again you can use these in your website if you see fit and again this library has a search bar so if we wanted to search i don't know let's just search pets let's just keep it on theme you've got some really really cool photographs here and you, you can use these in uh, on your website you can download a high res or a low res next we have pixabay now again pixabay has been around for a little while now i discovered this quite a few years ago around a similar time that i discovered unsplash i suppose now what's great about pixabay is it contains a little bit more than photography so if we scroll down we've got the most recent uh, entries but you'll notice that we have some vector style images here so we've got this one and that's more vector style and that's it within this list but if we scroll up and we start filtering you've got photos illustrations vectors so again you, these are all available for free which is fantastic so if you can make use of these perfect and what's also good is you have the ability to access videos so again it has a little bit more to offer than photographs so go and check out pixabay and you can get there by going to pixabay.com next is pexels now i do actually really like this one despite it being fourth in line um, you can see just by scrolling down that the imagery is really stunning and we've got a, a video on this platform as well so there's there's loads of variety we can use their categorization so we can just hit a discover button and you know give you a bunch of images that are recommended for you uh, if we click on videos you've got some really cool, nice videography that we can use on your websites. 
for free. So, you know, you can stick them as a background image if you like. Next, we have Reshot, and we can get to that by going to reshot.com. Again, very similar to all the others. The images are high quality, they're beautiful, stunning, and will really help you have a website that looks professional and really engaging. Now I've given you five options here because although each library does somewhat contain some of the same images, uh, they are also very different. So if one library doesn't contain something that you are looking for in particular, go check out another library because it might just be on there. And you know, if a video is not on one of the platforms, go check out another one to, for that video. So before we finish up here, one thing to note is despite images being free, it does sometimes ask you to credit the author, which I actually think is a very small trade-off for the type of images that you are getting. Usually to get this level of photography, you would have to rely on a paid stock library such as Adobe Stock or Shutterstock or any, any one along those lines. So I think that is a small trade-off and I'll show you what I mean. So for example, if we head back over to Unsplash and let's say we wanted to download this iPhone, just click the download button and then it says say thanks and it sort of asks you to just credit the author uh, which like I say is a very small trade-off so go and have a look at these libraries I guarantee you're gonna find some really stunning images and really make your websites look awesome so just to recap I've shown you five different stock libraries that are available for completely free and as you can see all of the images on there are absolutely stunning hopefully you found this really valuable there are loads of other videos on this channel that are designed to help you improve your website design game and improve your business. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. That will really help other people find my content. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification and you'll be notified of future releases. If you do have any comments, then just pop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But that's it for now guys and I'll catch you in the next one.